Hello and welcome to a delightful part of Spain. We're here by the Mediterranean at the Estadio de la Ceramica. My name's Derek Ray and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It is Villarreal and they take on Athletic Bilbao. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's a look at the starting 11 for Villarreal. The 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the fullback and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. And a look at the lineup for Athletic Bilbao. De Marcos plays with Yuri Bevchice in the fullback positions. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. A riveting match in prospect, and it's Villarreal who get things going. Difficult to stop him. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. And he gets away with a warning here. In my view, that's good refereeing. Strong, but not officious. Well, he had it on target, but it was never going to trouble the keeper. Giving the ball away. And they need to get tighter. Good use of advantage by the referee. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. It's a short one. Could be! And that would have been quite the early boost for them. Well, it may be early in the game, Derek, but that chance has to be taken. It's a poor finish. Early challenge of an illegal nature, and the referee can't ignore it. Well, a yellow card so early in this one, Stuart. Well, it doesn't matter how early it is in the game, that's a poor challenge and deserved the booking. A danger here as he runs at them. Gives it a go. And blocked for now. Under real pressure defensively. Will they pay the price? Ball is loose. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Mm. 
and inability to keep hold of the ball there fight on a poor touch really and unable to prevent the corner And played short. Well smuggled behind for another corner. Going short. Another corner. Delivering it. And a bit short with the clearance. Real chance. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Villarreal doing well to regain possession. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Plenty of support here. Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Bodies forward and the break looks on. Will they profit from this situation? Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. And in the event, just a talking to, but could easily have seen yellow. Regained possession. Might really be able to trouble them here. Body in the way. Another block. Deflected behind. Corner forthcoming. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. And deciding to go short with this one. Defensive excellence there. And Villarreal have it back now. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Williams! Oh, look at that! They've taken the lead. Well, they haven't been the dominant team so far, but they're certainly not complaining about the scoreline. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is.
Well, there it is, the referee's whistle, and that closes the book on the first half here in Villarreal. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. It is a decent looking attack here, but they took care of the situation defensively. Athletic struggling to keep possession here. Now, options are plenty. Sunset. Giving the ball away. Danny Garcia. Takes it on. Just couldn't get it through. And an attempt best forgotten, I think. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Clean challenge. Well, as the stats confirm, Bilbao have struggled to get control of the ball so far, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. More defending for them to do here, though. Able to close down the shot. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. It's there for him. Oh, good save. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Over it comes. Just the challenge that was required. Giovanni Lo Celso. And support available. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Chiche firing it towards goal making sure it didn't get past him Garcia and unfortunately for him he had worked his way into an offside position and I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches Well, almost at full time, and this is not really what the home fans had in mind. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts as always. Well, their attacking play has been too slow, it's lacked penetration, and at times it's looked devoid of ideas. But can that change in the final few minutes here? It only needs one moment of magic. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Getting forward. 
Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, he's walking a fine line. No caution, though. Well, the referee's made it quite clear, hasn't he? Next foul, and he will get a booking. to say meat and drink to those in the wall very quick thinking there Yuri Bertice a meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw in Decent progress with the ball at his feet. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time.